how does a luthier sell a cello to somebody in a different part of the world? How do you do that? Because that's I, I, I don't live here in Cremona, I live in France. It happens actually quite often, mm -hmm. more and more now because we have uh, certainly the technology. Uh, I even sold the cello. My apprentice are going home, huh? checking the word, okay. <laughs> Um, <laughs> now with uh, all the, the technical uh, um, machinery, or I don't know how you call that, it's possible. So I even sold a cello via YouTube. Uh, people ask me what I have. Okay, stop for a moment. You sold a cello via YouTube? Yes. How, does, how do you sell it? People are going to want to know. How do you sell a cello via YouTube? They listen to all my channel and everything I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. They like the way I am, how I'm telling them how I make it. They want to know a little bit more about it. They want to know what I have ready and they want to listen to it. So then I have somebody who plays the cello and then in comparing one kind of instrument to another one, one model and another model, a Scala Perfetta, Linea Maki, my master, a master of Min, a master of Anna Arietti and so on, they even via the email or the WhatsApp or the Skype or whatever, every kind of messenger, everything, I like all kind of channels, they can listen to the differences and they compare what they have and because of that and the price certainly they decide and then they just trust and uh, say okay Edgar I'm going to pay for it and you send me the cello and in case they don't like it they send it back this is the best way so the box certainly a cello to send to a musician has to be set up with the bridge and the strings and everything then I turn it down a little bit and then I put it into a case and a lot of chips the box is pretty big but not very heavy and uh, probably most people who order a cello now in that case don't expect but even a violin is a, quite a big package because in case they drop it too hard it still will survive and it's some kind of a suspension in these chips and uh, they get instruction by email what they have to do when the, pack uh, the package is arriving take it out tune it double check certain things and uh, play it and or they love it or they send it back and it works and where did this person live that person was living in finland so we're in italy and that went much further than uh, toulouse because you sent one to me also and it arrived safe and it arrived you know the violin maker safe, um, for lo some of you out there or for all of you out there one of my students in my studio here in france uh, bought one of his cellos and you can too so he actually has a YouTube channel it will be linked in the description below he not only made my cello but he made, made one of the students cellos that loves by the way the cello very much and it's funny whenever I play a cello I'm always like because I had I had one of his his um, I want to say baseline cellos but is one of the most, I call it the most accessible cellos. Entry line, but it's a, it's a very, but it's I entry, think uh, but it's entry. for the money it, it costs, for, I think it is very, very good. And I'm totally honest because I've, you know, I've worked with Luthier in California and I've worked with Luthiers in France. The value that, the, 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 the Scala Perfetta, that's yeah, the one, Scala Perfetta. Uh, the value of that instrument is, um, well, it's very well valued. Let me tell you, it's yeah. it could easily go for more in California. They and even more in on France. other parts in the world they even sell it more than double, even uh, yeah. three times as much. So it's even cheaper to go directly through you. I, I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um, for any of you out there who are dreaming about a genuine, you know, Cremona Luthier from here, like that's Stradivarius right here. That's that's him. You can get in contact with him and try out one of his cellos. And the thing about an instrument is people want to try the instrument. How do you do that when a person is shopping for an instrument? And have you had many people like, eh, I don't like it and send it back? Or has it 
How often up has that today happened? Just curious. Didn't happen yet. Yeah, good. But in uh, 35 years of work, I sold instruments. I always sell them, and they always. Uh, I'm always happy to buy my instruments back. And that happened, like, let's say, two or three times. Usually, when I buy them back, I give myself time one year to pay it back, and I try to sell it in this. Uh, one year of period and I, I give them back the money they paid except the consumption tax uh, happened three times and usually after one year if I couldn't sell it I pay them the instrument and I keep the instrument for myself and uh, so I create my own private collection of my instruments from the past and uh, yeah so I believe in my instruments I believe in, in the price increasing of my instruments and it doesn't happen too often, so that probably is, shows me that people are quite happy with what I'm delivering. And uh, well, what my I'm, students very happy. 